Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Train Simulator 2017. Kerm Martian here with episode 18 of my Train Simulator 2017 series. This is my seventh live stream, if I'm counting correctly. So it's a little bit late in the evening at the end of a weekend here. So I'm going to be doing this in two parts. I'm going to start with completing our North Jersey coastline run from yesterday evening. I'm going to take a break to sleep, have work, and do all that other stuff. And then we're going to pick this up back again tomorrow night. I'm going to aim for starting around 10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for part two of the stream. So if you're interested in attending, mark your calendars. Without further ado, let's get started with the second part of our Alp 45 DP scenario to Long Branch, part two, where we'll be taking an Alp 45 DP from... Aberdeen, Matawan, all the way to Long Branch. I hope you guys are doing well. My day was pretty good, thank you. I, again, got little bits of progress done on a bunch of stuff. Um, some programming, some errands, some socializing, some preparation for my week ahead. How about you guys? Anything fun and exciting? Let's see, any train-related things? Nothing too train-related for me today. I saw a couple of N-scale trains on sale at my favorite model train store. Um, nothing I need for my collection right now, though. I did not take any trains of my own today. Um, train, train news, did I see any interesting train news? A couple of interesting train pictures on Reddit, as there tend to be. I learned that a tamping machine can't reliably lower the grade crossing gates. Alrighty, excuse me a moment. Good evening, engineer. It's a warm fall evening in the last leg of a New York to Long Branch service. You'll be traveling to Long Branch, picking things up here in Aberdeen, Madawan, and stopping at every station on your way. Good luck. So let's get our doors open while we put ourselves into forward. Um, let me adjust this HUD so we can see our brake pipe there. Very good. I'll pop my head up so we can check our headlights. They are on. Excellent. We have the sun setting behind us. This is very screenshot worthy, I would say. Very screenshot worthy indeed, except for that pole. That part is not very screenshot worthy. Beautiful. Um, let's get our HUD a little bit lower. And because our doors are almost closed, we should get back inside. We'll come over here so we can see. Doors are closed. 167 points. Let's release our brakes. We are going to a speed limit of 45. And off we go. Start with notch four. We still have our six car plus one locomotive consist from yesterday evening that we're pulling from Madawan up to Long Branch. Down to Long Branch, I should say. An X Conrail Dash 8. Very nice, very nice. Hello there, JMO444. Since you, I think, missed the very first few minutes of the stream, because it got pretty late Eastern Daylight Time for me, I'm going to start this with a brief half hour scenario. Um, I'm gonna take a break for, you know, 20, 21 hours or so, and then we're gonna pick this back up tomorrow evening around 10 p.m. EDT. I'm also gonna, hello there train. Keep my eye out for grade crossings this time so we don't miss any. I'll do my best to talk in such a way that it is amenable to you working while trains. I generally find that trains and work go pretty well together. Also, we're in a 70 now. I didn't mention that, but we are going towards an 80. I don't think we're going to get to the 70 by the time we get to that 80. Our acceleration is quite slow with this many coaches behind us. We will be stopping at Hazlitt Track 2 anyway, though, so I don't want to get too carried away. We have a couple of roads going by above us. Some cars enjoying hopefully very little late evening traffic on those highways. It's now 8.27 p.m. in the world of trains. We're nearing 60 miles an hour, so let's start leveling off that speed in preparation for stopping at Hazlitt. Put a couple of dynamics on first, see how we can bring our speed down. Ah, the GG1 was on the NJCL. So that would imply that I have the GG1 because I certainly have the NJCL, but I have not seen it. Just 
changing the brakes here. Stand by while I do that. I'll be a little less talkative while I do so. Also, I think we have a great crossing coming up. late here. No, we're not. We're early. We're quite early. Excellent. That was picture perfect. Doors are open. We are at Hazlitt Track 2. Ooh, BNL. And then WY6B. I'm not sure I know the Y6B. So I'm going to release our brakes. We have our dynamics on. That should give us a little bit of break. I'll lap that much. And also release our dynamics. All right. Also, for funsies, I'm going to put us up at this grade crossing I hear dinging away. So we can watch our train leave. All right, we're clear to go. Let's release our brakes. Put ourselves into notch three, maybe notch four, and get going. We can watch our train go by. There it goes. We're at 44 miles an hour. We have the signal. Oh, let's sound the horn there. That was a little bit. <laughs> yep, so much noise. I do apologize. So I am momentarily blanking on the name of the proper uh, rule for long horn short, long, for great crossings. What is the number name of that rule? Hey, more friends. Huzzah. Welcome back, VA Rail fan. I think I see another great crossing coming up up there. Could be my imagination. We have a 70 coming up, followed by an 80. We still have another three and a third miles to Middletown, so we won't worry about stopping, just about speed limits. We have a signal box there, but I don't think we were... Ah, there's a great crossing up there. Have to make sure we warn about it in time. And let's lay off the power for that 70 mile an hour mark. Beautiful. I do like the L45 DP. I do like it quite a bit. I like that it's a dual mode locomotive, so I can drive it as an either diesel or electric loco. Um, I like the braking system in it. I like its power, 4,900 horsepower, pretty good stuff. I don't remember the duck power figure. I just released my horsepower to duck power Firefox and Chrome plugin actually the other day on my stream. I accidentally forgot uh, <laughs> duck feet per hour exactly. Yeah, I forgot to take it into account the fact that I had my duck power. Uh, extension, excuse me, my brain stopped there for a moment, installed in my browser, so I was wondering why the Alp 45 DP page on Wikipedia didn't have a horsepower figure. It had a duck power figure. 48x for duck power, but how about duck feet per hour? I don't know. I don't know how many duck feet are in a mile. It sounds like something you guys should calculate for me. You are graphing calculator programmers after all. 
How about you guys? Do you like the L45DP? Do you like the, the specs, the look, the livery that New Jersey trying to put on and everything else? My day went well, thank you. It was a good day. It was a good day, a pretty productive day. I banged out some good code. I got in some good socializing. I got some beautiful fresh air and here on the north, in the northeast, beautiful day. A beautiful day indeed. All right, let's start thinking about stopping. I think we're gonna need a little bit more than that. Yeah, I may have left that a little late. I think we'll be okay. But I've definitely made that a challenge for us. Is that a great crossing? It is. Too much brakes. Let's idle and coast in here. Oh, too little brakes. It's either too little or too much. Yep, that should do nicely. I didn't mean to put that much pressure on, but that'll work. Overhang the loco slightly. I'd call that pretty nice. Doors are open. One mile per hour is 21,120 duck feet per hour. Jeez, that's substantial. So if our Alp 45 DP can go a maximum of 125 miles per hour on overhead catenary electric power, then what's that? 21,120 times 125. How many duck feet can this go every hour? I use OBS. I like OBS a lot. Um, I've done minimal experimentation with a couple of other recorders. I haven't really found any of them quite to my liking. OBS is definitely my favorite. Why are my brakes not really soon? That brake pressure is not going away. Hmm. I'm suspicious. I'm suspicious the train simulator is being weird. There we go. E hold and release. I must have needed to go to E hold. All right. Let's lower that again. Time to go. Off to Red Bank Track 2 from Mars to Middletown, excuse me. 2.64 million duck feet per hour. That's a good locomotive right here. Let's get out and watch. I feel like we should have our ditch lights on. I'm going to turn our ditch lights on. I know we shouldn't actually have them on, but I want them on. There we go. Train simulator gets so carried away with the lighting on the front of the P42 DC. It is just so bright. That headlight is incredibly bright. It totally saturates, desaturates everything in the game. And then for the Alp 45 DP, it seems like they gave it quite the weak headlights. Poor duck with their little tiny feet. So I don't want to jinx it. I'm going to knock on my desk, but so far everything is going pretty decently for us. Could be because you guys are such a great audience and or because I'm doing my best to not yammer on too much in this. You know, I try to balance doing a good job with keeping the narration interesting as I go. So far we seem to be doing that balance correctly this evening. I'm looking forward to a Game of Thrones episode after I stream this. That's going to be my last thing before I call it a night. So I'm excited about that. I've heard it's a, an eventful episode. What are the train things? Yep, so obviously I, you know, use Train Simulator for Train Simulator, OBS for my recording. I put my videos together with movie, Windows Movie Maker. Um, it's probably one of the poorest tools because I use monitors that are 1680 by 1050 pixels. So I then have to use VLC's backend to FFmpeg 
to trim my videos to the correct size. Oops, I missed a great crossing. Sorry, cars. Um, but it does the trick. It does the trick. That's why in one of my videos there was a little light green bar to the side. I trimmed it one pixel too far over to the left. I think it was in the most recent one I posted on my channel, episode number 16. Got to keep my eyes open for those great crossings. We don't want to miss them. All right, we should probably think about getting down for that 50 soon. And by soon, I mean a while ago, especially since we're going down a hill. Give ourselves 20 PSI braking. More than that, 40 PSI braking. Ooh, we might not make that 50. We might not indeed. Lots of braking. We're not gonna make that. Oh, we might. Wow. We made that and we gave a brief honk that was vaguely in the vicinity of that great crossing. That was a close one. That was a very close one. That was not a smooth ride for our passengers, I'm afraid. I think I see a grade crossing up there. Could be wrong. Nope, I don't think so. I think that was an extraneous honk. I apologize. Ladies and gentlemen of New Jersey. However, I think we need to get out and watch this. Yeah, that is what is up. That's a great, that's a screenshot right there. That's a pair of screenshots. Very nice. And we should probably think about stopping at Red Bank. Can I see my meter? I cannot, my gauge. Lap on about 15 PSI. Oops, sorry. A little bit more. Got like 30 PSI. A little bit more. 40? Oh, should probably also lay off the throttle. Beautiful, that should do it. I'm interested to find that whether prototypically or at least the way this locomotive implements it, you have to release your pressure before you can decrease the pressure in your brake pipes. Didn't mean to go to handle off there. Ooh, that was a close one. All cars are on the platform though. Doors are open. Here we have our passengers getting on and off our New Jersey transit train. At a red bank. One can never have too many screenshots. Never too many. And I think the proper protocol is that I blast my horn twice before I leave here. I think that's correct. If you know the actual correct thing, then please let me know. You are the conductor, Ryan Lad5. Well, thank you for joining me in this train then. That must be you. Oh no, you're invisible. Well, that's okay. You not only are a conductor, you've also, sorry, that would be where the fireman is. You know, you could have come up here at some point, but presumably you're somewhere in our train, walking through, getting tickets. I don't know how our passengers look. They don't look particularly pleased today. They probably were uncomfortable when I left that braking a little bit late for that 50 mile an hour mark. Let's release our brakes and get going because we have places to be, people to see, and things to do. I think that's correct protocol. Please correct me if I did that wrong. Let's let's get down to eye level. I'm not I'm tall, but I'm not that tall. I mean I am actually quite tall. But I'm not as tall as a train. New Jersey trains and diesels at sunset. What could be better? What could be better indeed? Yeah, the Alp 45 DB has some really nice brakes. At least the way they implement it here. I don't know how pro as I said, I don't know how prototypical that is. I'm going to put us straight into full power because we have a little bit of time to make up. It says we have 30 seconds to make up, but I don't think that's accurate. All right, let's get back in here so we can sound the horn for grade crossings. So far, we're doing only a mediocre job of actually doing so. We also have a 60 mile an hour limit in here, so let me make sure I don't speed. There we go. We have a grade crossing coming up. Let's do this as prototypically as possible. I'd say that's good. Not too bad, not too bad at all. 
Anything coming up? Nothing in the immediate future. Not too bad. Keep up. Not yet for that 60, although we'll have an 80, although then we'll also have a little silver track too. <laughs> Only 352 <laughs> duck feet per second. They blast the horn one time when approaching for safety and two times for safety. Oops, sorry about that. I'm afraid you rather lost me there. Ah, one time when approaching and then two times when you're leaving for safety. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, that wasn't actually a crossing. My bad. I'm just so excited to be in this diesel that I'm sounding the horn everywhere. Hello, cab car. With your Alp 45 DP in the back. Very nice. There must not be a way to turn around at the end of this branch. And we should start thinking about reducing our speed. Put on a little bit of pressure. Just a little bit. A little bit more. And it's likely we'll have a grade crossing right before this station, I bet. And we need even a little bit more. Too much, too much breaking. Oops. Yep, definitely too much. Still gotta get the train on. All right, there we go. Oof, that was not great. So, Train Simulator is not going to yell at me about that, but that first coach did not stay on the platform. That was not great. Not great at all. That was my worst stop so far on this particular route. I'd be tempted to back up, but since Train Simulator isn't going to penalize me for it, I'm not going to. Got a nice line of cars with their headlights on waiting for us. Quite a few of them, as a matter of fact. Aha, and then we have another one coming up here. I'm going to have to be aware of that. Ooh, maybe we should even watch from there. That would be a good idea. Let's do that. Let's come up here and watch our train. All right, our time at this particular station, Little Silver is done. Off we go to Long Branch, our next and final stop. And off we go. In fact, I'm gonna be a rail fan and stand over here so I can watch our train better. There we go. A little bit more speed, I think, train. You don't have that many brakes. Beautiful. They're making this game look increasingly good. I'm very impressed. Oop, we're about to speed. That was close. That was close indeed. Let's get into our train, because I don't want to do any speeding today. I'd love to aim for that perfect score. That would just be wonderful. Oh, we have another bridge coming up. In New Jersey, the land of the swamps. That's good. I don't care how you feel about diesel, that's nice. Command block guy, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised. Were you pilot one of the backwards routes? That's a great question. Yes, there are in fact some scenarios where you drive from the cab car, that car at the back of the train, as it were. And those are some interesting ones. In fact I should probably play one of those for you guys. We're about to speed. Dang it! Two points. Two points. Two points. I'm. If I get a 999 or a 998 on this 
which is probably what's going to happen. Uh, 25 seconds long. Really? That's excessive. Do you happen to remember the rule for that one? I keep wanting to say it's rule 14D, but I know that's not correct. Oh, that one snuck up on me. Did that even have crossing gates? It did. All right, let's get our speed up. Two and a third miles to Long Branch. The FRA has a long, long set of rules and regulations numbered and lettered, and I'm sure if you are an engineer, you need to have them all properly memorized. Thank you for saying so, Command and Block Guy. Thank you for saying so. It's always the damn screenshots that get me. Whenever I get out to admire our train, I end up speeding. Or, you know, spatting signal past to danger when you run through a red light. Or doing any of several other equally bad things. That ah, was not a proper horn at all. That was more like 3 seconds than 25 seconds. There is a rule where if you're going through a long sequence of grade crossings in quick succession that you can simply add two tones before each subsequent crossing just to let them know that you're still coming through. Or it might be that you just continually sound the horn at intervals. I don't actually remember which of those is correct. There's a place on this particular route where that actually comes into play. a little better but not by much oh we have a 25 coming up oh damn oh damn hello brakes hello all the brakes hello every single brake hello every brake ever manufactured oh dear I basically just dumped all the air pressure out of our brakes Wow, and it worked. Except now our train is going to immediately stop. There's no way we're going to... Yeah. If you look at our... What? Wow. It built that pressure up fast. I'm very impressed. I thought we were definitely going to stop there. I hope they're not stealing my self-driving trains. Yeah, I hope they're not stealing. Well, there we go. Now we're speeding. I hope they're not stealing my data. I hope, well, I hope if they are stealing my data, that they're stealing the data from when I play without an audience, because that tends to go much better. Like just now when I stopped to read your text and started speeding. And we are ready to stop at Long Branch. Training trains. Yuri, the trainer who trains. Just gotta honk at that. Actually, we should also honk for this great crossing. So that worked out well. Put our brakes in service, slap them, and get ready to stop at Long Branch. Got some nice lighting here at Long Branch, too. We can just coast in nicely, especially with so many people standing so close to the edge of the platform. I hope you guys are being careful. What did I get there? About 20? Yeah, 20 PSI. A little bit more. Go to 40. Not quite, not quite, not quite. We still have to get the rest of the train on, guys. Alrighty, now we're good. That should do it. Come on. Perfect. Here we are at Long Branch. So we've reached the end of our scenario for today. That was pretty smooth. A little bit of speeding there. Ooh, that's interesting lighting. That is very bright lighting. It's also going through our train, if you notice. A little bit of speeding, not too bad. Not, not till the very end did we lose any points. That actually went really nicely. I'm quite happy with that. Oh, what? Apparently the HUD's lying to me. It's telling me I have all of those cars on the platform. Clearly that's not true. Clearly that's an outright fabrication. If anybody was in that first car, they're going to have to have walked through these doors. Apparently nobody told these people that were at the end of the route either. 
Ladies and gentlemen, you should probably get off the train because this is the last stop. Last stop that I'm driving anyway. I don't know if the other people are taking you further. You can see we have some spare rolling stock here, some spare New Jersey transit trains. No locomotives though, just cars, which makes sense. All the time that you spend with your locomotives idle is money that you're wasting because locomotives like airplanes are very expensive. Just get a nice little screenshot here. Nope, we're not going to get a screenshot because that window popped up. 992 points. Congratulations, engineer. You have successfully finished this journey from Aberdeen, Madawan to Long Branch. Let's see how you did. Well, I got 992, so a gold star. Not quite the full thousand points that I wanted, but I'm quite happy with that. I'm quite happy indeed. Yep, definitely some uncanny valley, but you just have to use your imagination a little bit. That is an old meme, VA Rail fan. That's a meme I haven't heard in a long time. That is definitely one I have not heard for some time. Now, I noticed a little something weird here earlier. I hope it didn't recur. Okay, so yesterday, I'm pretty sure when I was driving with you guys, I got a gold star on part one of the scenario, and yet it doesn't seem to have appeared here. Got my gold star today, though. Well, it's been a lot of fun. This was a brief one, but this consider this part one of my stream. I'm going to continue this video tomorrow evening. I'm aiming for 10 p.m. EDT, so feel free to actually hold me to that. I, I have various things to get done in the evening, some of which have specific times, some of which do not, but it should be relatively realistic to see you guys here at around 10 p.m. EDT. I'm looking forward to it. We'll figure out what to what to do. If you have any thoughts, comments, or suggestions in the meantime about what I should finish this particular stream up with tomorrow, do let me know, either on YouTube or on Chemitech or on Twitter. And I hope you all have awesome evenings. If Game of Thrones is still ahead of you, I hope you enjoy watching it as I am going to. And at any rate, see you guys in the next video. All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with part two of my Train Simulator 2017, episode 19, uh, Cremartian Live number seven. So the seventh of my live streams, which happens to correspond with episode 19 of my Train Simulator 2017 videos overall. We started this five days ago with part one, and I finished off a New Jersey, uh, North Jersey coastline route that I had started up in my previous stream. Today we are continuing that particular adventure over in England. So we're doing some East Coast Mainline action. I was watching a little bit of East Coast Mainline steam action earlier today, and it got me interested once again in driving on the East Coast Mainline one of the things that I repeatedly return to in tra Train Simulator, one of the things that I find particularly fun. Hello there, Anand. Welcome to the stream. Are you a Train Simulator player yourself or just a fan? You're joining us just as we're getting started, so good timing there. Good timing indeed. I'm going to be taking a local service along the East Coast Main Line to start, and then I'll see afterwards if there are more things that I want to do. I bet there will be. I bet there will be on a Friday evening such as this one. I bet there will be many people about with many suggestions of what we should do. Good evening, driver. This is your last task today. You are required to take the 1858 GN2482 service to Wellwyn Garden City, Platform 4. Open the doors and allow passengers to board. Doors are open. Let's jump into our cab. Get ourselves forward, kill the AWS, and walk around a little bit. So we're in the trusty old class 365, specifically 365524. We need some headlights up in here. Apparently headlight controls are not being cooperative, so let's find our switch for the headlights. Where be headlights? I know they're around here somewhere. I've certainly found them many a time before. There's our AC system select. All our faults are good. Where are our headlights? There's our door releases. We definitely don't want to play with those. Dash lights? Are those going to help us? Maybe those will help us. Aha, what have we up here? There we go. We will put our headlights into... Do, do, do. Headlights and marker lights. Let's make sure that that looks correct. Very good. We have our headlights on. People are boarding our train. We have also an extremely loud locomotive somewhere. I 
bet it's an HST. It is, in fact, an extraordinarily loud HST. 43-136. Ooh, we have quite a nice lineup here. Another 365. A trio of Class 801s. Very nice, very nice. And it's Dusk here. Dusk here, one of my favorite times of day, right after sunset, my literal favorite time of day. And we have trains, so all as well. Looks like we have a lot of services that are ready to go. It is 6.57 p.m. right now. People are boarding our train and we're just about ready to get going. Hey, welcome back, Kai Tucker. Welcome back indeed. Can everybody see? Is Conrail Guy the only one with the isolated black screen problems? A little bit of internet issues? Aha, it looks like my internet might be failing in that I see quite a number of dropped frames. So let me know if you guys are having issues. If you are, I will pause this. In fact, I'm gonna hit pause right now and see if we can work out what's happening here exactly. Am I back? One hopes. One hopes, but dares not hope too much. Let's see what we got here. Let us see indeed. I see a nice busy indicator on my laptop, but that doesn't actually mean anything. That does not necessarily mean anything indeed. I am back. Excellent, excellent. I apologize for the hiccup there. I'll keep my eye on my little kilobits per second meter. All right, all right. Now let's unpause. All right. So we had a minor technical difficulty there where Time Warner Cable slash Spectrum decided to make my life miserable. But we are back in action. Let's get ourselves into step one so we don't have to go too far to get going. We're just letting the last of our passengers board at King's Cross Platform 10 on this local service. Check our doors, doors are closed. Let's get going. Off we go. We are headed towards Wellwyn Garden City today. Gotta keep our, our eyes on the speeds as we leave King's Cross. I apologize for the deafening HST over to our right. That'll quiet down in a moment as we pull away. Got our headlights on, got our signal, all is well. Good to speak to you again, Kai Tucker. Sorry about the little hiccup there. All the best laid plans of mice and men get disturbed by internet service providers that are absolute garbage. That's all right. We're off on the East Coast Main Line on a quiet, I want to say either spring or fall evening, considering it's dusk at just before 7 p.m. We've got a four car train today in our class 365. Just heading through the gas works lines. It's black again still? I thought we got that all figured out. From the little meter on my bottom right hand corner, it looks like I'm still within a reasonable streaming speed of about five megabits per second. So if you're still having problems, I recommend that you just reload your browser or, you know, the page. Almost in that 45 zone, we'll be able to really put on the accelerator. Just about, just about, come on. Yeah, it's just the worst. There we go. Let's go to notch three, get this thing going. Unfortunately, my only other option basically is Verizon DSL, which is pretty terrible. Pretty terrible indeed. Filming at King's Cross today. Excellent, excellent. I assume given that it's, you know, oh, you mean today is in Saturday because it's Saturday for you. Yes. Yes, indeed. So are you up very late, Kai Tucker, or are you up very early for some filming? That is the question. Make sure you get plenty of HSTs. Anything in particular that you're looking to take photos of? In theory, in theory, I should have, oh, we're about to speed. In theory, I should have access to Fios, given that Verizon had an agreement with our city that a certain number of people were supposed to be covered by Fios by now, but that hasn't really worked out quite so well. It has not indeed. 
We just went under HS, HS1, high speed one. We are now headed off to Finsbury Park in just a mile and a third, and we are speeding. Easily fixed, easily fixed. We don't have a career scenario today, so no thousand points that I need to get, but still I would like to try to drive as well as possible. That's always the goal. Professionalism and all that good stuff. Not that I ever let a little bit of fun get in the way of, you know, we can have both professionalism and fun is what I'm getting at. Might as well get up towards that 55, although we'll have to stop relatively soon. Oh man, I we pay so much and we get so little with Spectrum. It's really ridiculous. Class 91s, excellent, excellent. So I was saying earlier that the reason I felt a particular pressure, particular drive to play on the East Coast mainline today, AWS says ding, because I was watching a Moleman 978 stream from a couple months back that I had overlooked where he was driving from King's Cross up to Peterborough and then Peterborough to York and we should start getting some speed off and it reminded me just how much I love the East Coast Main Line. It's by far the route that I've played the most in Train Simulator followed closely by New York to New Haven so it seemed like something I would want to do today and I've had these scenarios sitting in my career scenario folder for a while they're from the workshop and I'd be more than happy to post a link to them in the description when this video this stream eventually goes up on YouTube so you can enjoy them as well our ETA is about nine seconds early we're in good shape we have a four car train so let's see if we can stop with the four car marker frame rate stay with me here I know there are lots of objects here, but stay with me. Where is the four-car marker? It's just an S-car. We are indeed at platform five. Well, there's the six-car marker, so I must have overlooked the four-car marker. Oh, well. This looks like a good place to stop. And doors are open. We've got a couple of stragglers here on this. It's really not that late in the evening. 7 p.m. is not late at all. Oh, and let's get some screenshot action while we can. Screenshot action indeed. Beautiful. We're here a little bit early, so we'll have to wait a bit. I hear some cranes. There's no doubt even more London construction going on in the general vicinity. Unless those are loading and unloading trucks of some sort. Got some double-decker buses. Very nice. Very nice double-decker buses there. All lined up here at Finsbury Park, waiting to take people to points north, east, and west, I'd imagine. Got a couple of stores here. Laundromat, book camp, bloopers party shop, and bridge gallery. All the things you could possibly want. Some very slowly driving drivers, and I see that we are ready to go. So off we go. Conrail guy, did you try just refreshing the page or closing and reopening your browser to see if that would do the trick? Because I certainly would not want you to miss out on the stream after you were patiently waiting since when I was originally going to film the second part of the stream, which was Monday. It is a good route. I don't know what it is. It's, it's reasonably long. It's pretty detailed. It's, you know, not amazing in any way, I don't think. There's nothing crazy about it, but it's just a really solid, fun route. Lots of stops, slow and fast services, different classes that prototypically run on it, lots of different types of imaginary services you can put together, like me having fun running the Acellas on it. It's just, just a lot of fun. So yeah, you're on your phone. Aha! Perhaps that is the problem then. Perhaps that could be related to why it is black for you. Although I'm not sure what that connection would be right now. Good luck. I hope that does the trick. So our next stop is going to be Alexandra Palace in a mile, almost two miles. Let's make sure we stay under that 60 limit. Actually, I would have been speeding because I missed the changeover from 55 to 60. We are now about to pass by Haringey and then Hornsby. Hornsby, excuse me. Neither of which we need to stop at. I think I saw a little bit of... AI action over there. Yep, got another class 365 on the fast lines. We are on the slow lines, of course. We're doing a stopping service. Keep ourselves up at 60 because we want to make our schedule today, especially since this is based on a prototypical service. Ding! 
AWS says, keep going. We've got the high speed depot for the class 801s over there. Very nice, very nice. And we have catenaries for days. So what should we talk about as we ride along tonight? Also here is Hornsey. Passing through Hornsey. Please stand well away from the platform edge. This service is not scheduled to stop at Hornsey. I feel like we've done quite a bit of talking about model trains, real life trains, life, life and the trials and tribulations thereof lately. Let's get ready to start thinking about possibly stopping at Alexandra Palace. If I duck my head out here, you can see Alexander Palace over on the hill there. There's the transmitter. Alexander Palace. Very nice, very nice. Um, how are we doing on speed? We're doing very nicely. In fact, I'm going to lay off the brakes a little bit more. It worked! Huzzah! Back in the East Coast and First Capital Connect days, now it's Thameslink and Virgin Trains East Coast. Yeah, I would like that update as well. My, my dream is that they would give us a route that will work all the way from London to York. That would be amazing. Or at least, you know, if that poses some technical difficulties, then some different parts, like, you know, in addition to this particular... Ooh, I came in hot here. Let's get ourselves into full service. Ooh, yeah. Bye, four-car marker. Well, we made it onto the platform, all's well. Our passengers might have to walk up a little bit. But it's all right, it's all right indeed. Set ourselves back into step one. So, and then, you know, a second part going from Peterborough to York, that would be easily acceptable. I know that there is a custom scenario that somebody, a custom scenario, I should say custom route that somebody has put together, but I think it's 30 pounds um, where you can get the entire King's Cross to York route. Actually, it might even be just Peterborough to York. I know there was the East Coast mainline route that was not this one from Dovetail, but I think it was only like Manchester to York or something pretty short, something that doesn't even cover the remainder after this route from Peterborough to York. So far, we're doing quite all right with our schedule, quite all right indeed. We got here three seconds early with a little bit of hard braking. American track gauge is equal to UK track gauge. I did indeed know that. I did know that indeed. Both are four feet, eight and a half inches. And in fact, did you know that the track gauge of an odd four feet, eight and a half inches is based on the spacing between carriage wheels going back as far as the Roman Empire? Peterborough. So if you did know that, then good for you. If you did not know that, then that is your fun fact of the day. Hello, Class 801. Give you a little bit of a buzz. What is your another question, Conrail guy? Go ahead. Question away. I'm always happy to answer questions. If I can. If not, then I will be more than happy to learn from one of you or to look it up. There's another class 365. We're headed up towards 60 with a 75 limit and new south gate coming up. Peter Barrow to York. All right, all right. I mean, I might have to get that anyway at some point, but 30 pounds or the equivalent of, what would that be, about 40 American dollars is a little bit dear for me. Um, I'm also very interested in, as we've discussed in previous streams, the Morristown branch of the North Jersey coastline, but that is also 40 bucks, 30 or 40 bucks, and that is expensive. That is expensive for one piece of DLC in a game. I mean, I, I certainly understand how much work goes into these routes, more than most given what my startup works on, but... It's still pretty ridiculous. They should! That's so funny. It's so funny you should bring that up. So I was on Reddit's r slash trains today, and I saw a bunch of stuff about the APTE. I saw somebody had gone to the museum in England where the APTE prototype is being kept, and I also then from there found myself on a couple of videos um, of Rapido Trains' APTE model, which is pretty fun, pretty fun indeed, including their, hello, HST, their wacky and amusing video where they were introducing it, so that was fun. That was a fun little diversion for the day. Sh 
shift and two. I'll have to give that a try. Why shift and two? Oh, there was a four-car marker. All right, that was a pretty close stop. Pretty close indeed. Not good enough for the real world, but more than good enough for the kind of professionals we're aiming for today. Shift two. Why shift two? Oh, you mean ah, ducking your head up. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So the the stream that I was watching today, the recorded stream from Moleman 978 he had used the Steam Pack Supreme on, um, oh, what's the Steam locomotive? The really fast one that's green, the Class 60. Why am I blanking on this? Help me out here. Flying Scotsman. Sorry, I got it. I got it before I finished typing it into my laptop. The Flying Scotsman, of course, and the, the whistle sound on that was just brilliant. Just amazing. Class 47 is a lot of fun. The uh, Super Class 47, if you've seen that in action, is also a great deal of fun, although there's, I, I don't know, in my opinion, there's only so much you can do with like the jet train and the Super Class 47 before it gets a little bit old, but it can indeed be a lot of fun. It can. We've almost finished our rather long stop here at New Southgate. We will shortly be headed off to Oakley Park. Oakley Park, indeed. Alrighty. Doors are closed. Off we go. Now, as you know, as you who are returning know, my, uh, yeah, it's true. My steam train expertise is rather significantly lower than my EMU, DMU, and diesel expertise. And, you know, electric. So that's something I need to work on. That's something I definitely need to work on. I'm gradually building up my expertise and, uh, JMO444 in the past. It has given me some good tips to improve how I drive steam trains. But definitely still something I need to practice. The question is whether I want to practice that offline where I won't make a fool of myself or whether for laughs. I should just have you guys join me while I do more steam practice. I suspect the answer is the latter for the fun of it. I just hope if I go to actually drive some steam trains in real life that nobody will look back on my videos and worry about my proficiency. Staying just under that 75 mile an hour limit as we head towards Oakley Park and we'll have to, let's see, let's start putting on like notch one or notch two braking around that signal that's in half a mile. See how that works out for us. Thank you, I will definitely take advantage Nice. I will definitely, oh, we're speeding. Let's not do that. I will definitely take advantage of your expertise if you don't mind. If you don't mind answering questions. That does sound nice. Also, I like having my head out here. We can see a little bit more. Also, it's getting properly dark now. I see the stars are starting to come out. See if we can get down to that 37 miles an hour. I always aim to enter the platforms at. A little bit more, I think. A little bit more braking. I'm going to duck back in here so I can judge where we're stopping on the platform. Look for that elusive four-car stop. There it is. Bye, four-car marker. Oh, wait. Or oh, this platform four. This platform four. Or were there two four-car markers? Well, that was rather confusing. Those did look like markers. There's also a platform four, though. Well, let's not debate. Ooh, HST. Gotta duck our head out and look for the HST roaring past. There it is. Look at that. Yeah, that's the stuff. Gotta love that HST. Gotta love it. Intercity 125 literally the best thing that's not true that's not true at all but it's pretty great also i'm not sure the lighting's quite right here these lights seem to be producing awfully little actual illumination i think somebody forgot to make these lights you know light oh well so be so be the train simulators little moonbeam welcome back good to have you with us uk dmus that's a good question well I have the Arriva Trains Class 175. That certainly counts as a DMU. And it certainly counts as a UK DMU. 
whether the question was English DMU, then that might be a little bit of an issue. Um, can we count the HST as a DMU? I don't think we can because there's only diesels in the front and back power cars. I don't think we can call those DMUs. What did you have in mind, Conrail guy? Like the thumpers, maybe? Because I do not have the thumpers, sadly. Cool as they are. We are set to go. Let me check our doors. Doors are closed. I haven't been hearing the guard sounds. Our guard must be asleep today. Perhaps there is no guard on the Class 365s. The first Thameslink service. Sorry, first Capital Connect. I'm jumping from 2014 up to the present day. Hope you're having a pleasant evening there, Little Moonbeam. Oh, I was saying, so we are in England this evening. We're starting out the second part of this particular stream with a bit of a jaunt from London King's Cross on the slow line. It's a local stopping service up to Welwyn Garden City. Assuming that I'm pronouncing that properly. Welwyn. Welwyn? Welwyn? Welwyn, maybe? Welwyn? Any feedback on that? Welwyn versus Welwyn? Driver operated only. Yeah, that would make sense, especially since it's just a four coach train today. Ooh, we're gonna have to stop at New Barnett. Let's, you know, do that. We don't want to pull well, pull a Nebworth. Pulling a Nebworth here would be counterindicated. Luckily, the brakes on this are amazing. Ding. See what we got here. We have a four car marker coming up. I'm going to step off the brake slightly and then step back on. See how well we can stop at this four car marker. Well, I'm a little bit in front of it, but that's all right. That's all right indeed. Pie Man 7373, welcome back. Good to have you with us tonight. I don't know if I should say welcome back or not. I think you were here for part one. Part one was back on Sunday. It was a relatively short live stream, so I decided it would be continued today. I decided today would be part two, and I just kind of glue them together. I was going to do this on Monday. I had scheduled it for 10 p.m., but I must apologize. Life just happened as it does. Life happened. There were many things to do. It was happy life happening this time. I've had some things lately that are not so happy life happenings, but, you know, life goes on. Life goes on indeed. So, Kai Tucker, I'm going to particularly lean on your expertise about the proper pronunciation of Welwyn Garden City. Oh, no, Conrail guy. That's not good. That SD40 should definitely stay on the shelf. I hope you didn't snap off any little ladders or anything. Those are the worst. Those ladders up to the cab tend to snap off constantly on my various N-scale trains, especially my uh, P42DC, number 99. It needs some friends. I need to get some friends at some point. Hello, Class 801. You definitely get a horn. Have I mentioned how much I like the Class 801? Because I really like the Class 801. To my knowledge, you don't have any trains, Pi Man 7373. Is that correct? Because if that is true, you should fix that. Trains are the correct thing for you to have. Not trains is the incorrect thing for you to have. Next stop is Hadley Wood. Hadley Wood Platform 4 coming up. It fell on a pillow. Oh, wow. You couldn't have planned that better. I think the solution is you should just keep a pile of pillows underneath your train shelves in case of accidental mishaps. Ah, I see. I had no idea. Well... Let me credit you for making it not obvious that you are only 10 years old. You use relatively correct spelling and grammar, and I am impressed. So good for you. Keep it up. Keep it up indeed. Pie Man and Little Moonbeam know that I am constantly ragging on people to use correct spelling and grammar. That is one of my pet peeves. So when people do so, I am very happy. We need to get our speed off, because we have a tenth of a mile till the beginning of the Hadleywood platform. The brakes on this are great. Well, you should definitely fix that, Pie Man. Uh-oh, our face is going to go into this. Our face is... Ow. Ow, indeed. Um, can we, can we stop? Stopping would be a good idea. Stopping would be a really good idea. There's our four-car marker. There's our four-car marker, indeed. 
Beautiful. I think that worked out well. I think that worked out well indeed. There's our four car marker. There's our train. All right, that's that's perfect. I'm just gonna reach over and pat myself on the back right here. That's perfect. That is what we aim for. We've got our passengers boarding here at Hadley Wood. This guy apparently has better things to do than get on the train. He needs to read the paper. The Railway Times, I believe. The Railway, the RSC Railway Times. Physicist's thrill to finding of superconductor. Wow. What's on the other side? Robert Mulberry, 79. Um, something. Something. Something happened to a 79-year-old guy. There we go, indeed. Old? If you guys are old, what does that make me? Jeez. I'm stuck in the newspaper guy. I wanted to read his newspaper. He doesn't mind me sit, like, sitting in front of him and reading his newspaper. It's what everyone does. Everyone does that. Everyone reads your newspaper. It's quite noisy here, too. Quite noisy for the lack of people standing about. This guy's got a busy phone conversation going on. Business stops for no man and no train. Alrighty. Doors are closed. I left us in full service. That's annoying. That means it's going to take us a moment to accelerate because our air brakes have to build our pressure back up. But there we go. Brakes are great to engage and great to release on this train. RSC, yes, indeed. Back when it was Rail Simulator. Something like that, right? Before Dovetail Games took over. We are headed into the tunnel that follows Hadley Wood. I think next is... Well, I'm not going to guess. I'm going to look. Next is Potter's Bar. Then Brookman's Park, Wellham Green, Hatfield, and then Wellwyn Garden City. Hello, 365. You are going too fast. Got a little sparking on his panther ramp. I like that. I like that indeed. I also love the way the near dusk is highlighting those trees, silhouetting those trees in the distance. That's beautiful. So yes, yes, I like UK Steam. I like it a lot. It's certainly iconic. It's beautiful. I'm just not that great at driving it. It's something I need to work on. Something I need to work on and improve. Definitely a future area of work for me. But I do like it. I do like it indeed. I was talking in a relatively recent stream about watching a Top Gear where they were driving the newly rebuilt Tornado. Um, I was talking earlier today about watching the Flying Scotsman. There are some great steam trains. I've done a bit of driving of the... Oh, let's get our speed down so we can not speed. Um, what is the train I have driven? I have driven in one of the very first Train Simulator 2017 videos on my channel. I drove a British steam train on the English Riviera and I did a pretty decent job, if I may say so myself. A little bit of speeding, but nothing too bad. It is bother it is buffering again i see that i have paused my video and i'll pick this up in a moment i see that it is at zero kilobytes per second ts 2013 looked like flight sim 20, 2013 i wouldn't be surprised about that uh let's see if we can figure out what's going on here apparently things are terrible once again if you're still with me i apologize for this break in the video i'm just pause to see if I can figure out what's going on here because apparently my ISP just doesn't want me to stream today buffering buffering ah it looks like I'm back more or less it's it doesn't seem too happy but I think I'm back enough that I'm going to continue and hope that everything's okay hope it indeed hello class 801 so let me know if you guys have not caught back up with me as we slow down for Potter's Bar Platform 4. The stars haven't really come out yet, though. Where are the stars? There are some stars. There are some stars, indeed. Put ourselves into step one as we near Potter's Bar. We seem more than slow enough, though. Excellent, excellent. Glad you guys are back with me. It's much more fun to play this with you guys with me. Much more fun, indeed. I'm glad I have discovered the joys of live streaming Train Simulator. 
because it's it's you know doing the perfection of the, or aiming for the perfection of driving by myself is a lot of fun too you know trying to get it just right and getting all the fun facts that I get to talk about just kind of stream of consciousnessing while I drive is a lot of fun but having you guys along for the ride is even more fun love seeing your feedback along the way just having a conversation with you guys it's like you guys are just hanging out with me playing train simulator with me and that seems like a lot of fun because here in real life it's just me just me my co-founder of my startup hangs out with me a few nights a week he commutes in from a mile a hundred or two miles away so I tend not to is it still offline I don't think that's true uh you know I tend not to stream when he's here among other things I don't want to disturb him often in the evening he's Skyping with his wife or we tend to play Heroes of the Storm or work on a little bit of work together but maybe I should maybe I should stream while he's here one time so he can join in on the commentary I think that would be fun thank you it's thank you I appreciate that it's nice to have you you singular and plural here alrighty we are almost ready to leave Potter's Bar I believe our next stop is going to be Brookman's Park and this was labeled as precisely a 44 minute scenario so we will see how that works out for us. I can't exactly tell how long I've been streaming so far because OBS lost its counter because of that little disconnect there. But we shall see. I'm not in any particular hurry. I have a pool party to go to tomorrow. That should be fun, but you guys have me for trains tonight. All right, see you in a minute. What else, what else should we talk about tonight? What's new in trains? Um, I read that an Acela train struck a trespasser somewhere around Washington, D.C. two days ago, which is always very sad. It's sad when that happens, regardless of the reason the person was on the tracks in the first place. Also very sad for the engineer, if, you know, regardless, no matter what. But as we were talking on a previous stream, that can be... I'm sure quite traumatic. That's one of the things that I am aware of with my burnout, startup burnout plan of driving trains in real life. Not enough of a detractor to prevent me from wanting to drive trains, but just something to be aware of. Um, in positive news, have I heard anything in positive train news lately? Hmm, I can't think that I have. I can't think that I have. Nothing terribly negative, but nothing terribly positive either. Um, Looking forward to my first Acela ride next month in September. Oddly enough, despite how much I love the Acela and how much we need to get down to that 55, how many N-scale Acela models I have, um, I've never actually ridden on the Acela itself. I've done plenty of Northeast Regional riding on the, you know, Northeast Regional. AEM7s pulling Amfleets way back when I was a youngin', followed by lots of ACS64 with... Uh, you know, athletes these days. Um, okay, I guess we're not stopping here. We're going straight to Hatfield. Sorry, Brooklyn's Park and Wellham Green. We are not stopping. Also, is Wellham Green the correct way to pronounce that rather than Wellham? Wellham? I assume so. I assume so, indeed. I'm good here. I have a nice green little indicator in my bottom right-hand corner. I'm now keeping an eye on that because of the little hiccups we were having before. So hopefully my little hiccup has not made your phone sad again. Ooh, I like that lighting effect. That is cool. That is rather cool. The interior of our train. Heading up towards 75 miles an hour. Let's keep an eye on that speed. Maybe we should... Oh, that works. That's one thing we can do. Oh, that's cool. I might actually take a screenshot. Screenshots for days. We are speeding. We've done actually really well as far as speeding so far. If this was a real scenario, I would be getting a pretty good score. Please stand well away from the platform edge at Wellham Green. Wellham Scream. <laughs> if like me, you watch Cinema Sins videos on YouTube, then you might be intimately familiar with the many, many instances of the Wilhelm Scream, Wilhelm Willem? Wilhelm? How, how, how do we... What is the proper way to pronounce that? I don't actually know. Will, Wilhelm? 
And let's get that speed down. We're speeding. A DLC called the NEC. Well, they do. They do have the Northeast Corridor. It's just that, you know, like the East Coast Main Line, it's a massive... Um, sorry, I'm just reading the chat there. Uh, it's a massive misnomer because it only covers Philadelphia to New York. The correct Northeast Corridor line would, of course, go from at least Washington, D.C., all the way up to Boston. I'm sure you agree with me there, Conrail guy. That would be so much fun. I've long wanted to make, you know, I, I'm not currently taking it, but for a long time I was doing frequent commuting on the Vermonter train, which goes, for those of you not particularly familiar with Amtrak lines, from New York City to New Haven, where would they switch out an ACS-64 for a P-42, then up to Springfield and all the way to St. Albans, Vermont. I would get off at the second to last stop. Hello, HST. That's cool. Uh, the second to last stop, Essex Junction. Um, and I had always wanted to make a full Vermonter route in Train Simulator. It would be about eight and a half hours of continuous driving, and that would just be amazing. I would love that so much. That would be a lot of fun. It's something I want to do with Geopipe one of these days. Now that they're switching to using the Unreal Engine for Train Simulator routes, I'm hoping that might actually be plausible to do with the technology we're already generating for uh, producing virtual worlds. But we shall see. We shall see. One day, one day I hope to drive the Vermonter route. Nice Conrail guy. It's one of my favorite routes. Um, not only is it, you know, all the Amtrak comfort I've come to expect and love um, on long distance trains, Wi-Fi, food, lots of leg room, which is important for me as a very tall gentleman. Um, but there's just beautiful scenery, whether it's summer, winter, fall, spring, it's always beautiful. Um, going up through New England, you really could do a lot worse. Not to mention, of course, Vermont has a state law against billboards, so it is pretty unspoiled scenery and wilderness in Vermont as well. I highly recommend if you guys have not taken the Vermonter before and you have the opportunity to do so someday, that you do so. If you're going to head up to Burlington or to do some skiing at Stowe or something, you should definitely take the Vermonter. Skip the airplane. It may be 45 minutes from JFK to BTV on the... Oh, hold on. You know, by plane, but by the time you take into account... The time it takes to get to BTV, which admittedly is short, to go through security and wait for your plane, which is longer. And then on the other end, the long, long trek from any of the New York City airports to anywhere convenient, it's just nonsensical. It's two, you know, somewhere from one half to two thirds of the time of taking the train, and you could have just sat on the train and enjoyed yourself the whole time. Doors are closed. Off we go. Next and last stop on this local service will be Welland Garden City, Platform 3. We thank you for riding with First Capital Connect today, and we look forward to seeing you in the future. You guys got quiet all of a sudden. I'm checking my little lag indicator to make sure you're still with me. Got ourselves right up into Notch 4. The French Alps. Oh, that would be amazing. That's definitely on my list as well. Definitely, indeed. That's a great idea. French trains in general would be a lot of fun. The TGV. That would be a lot of fun. Definitely also on the list. Although I think my more immediate goal is to go to England. Hello, Edouan. And take a lot of these trains, like the one I'm driving right now. I think that would be so much fun. Definitely is something that needs to happen in my life sooner rather than later. Why do you love steam trains so much, Conrail guy? Tell me. I would like to know. Also, we have two miles to Welland Garden City. And we're speeding. Let's not do that. Let us continue to do a good job. Also, the signals have been very easy tonight. I expected them to be challenging. I expected to be racing to barely make the times at each station, but everything has been going super well to the extent that we're estimated to be almost a minute early to Welland Garden City. Perhaps it's that this is a real scenario, not some kind of contrived train sim scenario. We have a 25 mile an hour limit coming up after Welland Garden City, but because we are stopping there, it doesn't matter. 
I'm going to lay off the throttle for the moment. And I hope you guys are thinking hard. Yeah, very dark now. It got totally dark. I was just thinking that and looking around. I was trying to see the stars. I think we're still too close to London to actually see the stars. Too much light pollution. When I look straight up, I can see a few. Not even. I could before. Now they seem to be gone. Oh, because I'm <laughs> in the cab. Sorry about that. I failed to use my brain there for a moment. There we go. I see a couple of stars. <laughs> I was looking at the roof of the cab. GG. GG, Kermotion. Oh, so I was saying, I hope you guys are thinking about what you want me to drive next after this, because I don't think I'm quite done with my train simulatoring for the night. I think I'm going to want to do something else. So be sure to think about what you might want. Yes! Yes! Wait, so you blew the whistle on Strasbourg number 90? For reals? If so, I'm incredibly jealous. Sorry, I hit the space bar instead of Q to cancel that AWS. If that is the case, I am so jealous. Hello, six and eight car markers. This is where we're going to stop. We're going to pretend that we're six or eight car train. Back in the day, I may have driven when I was when I was a little bit younger. In fact, quite a bit younger. I may have driven a uh, diesel locomotive on a commuter train system that I will not name the name of to protect the innocent. This was long before concerns about, you know, security and terrorism and all that scary stuff where a kid with a train hat was just a kid with a train hat who was in love with trains. So that was fun times. I have extremely fond memories of that. But I never was on Strasbourg number 90. I mean, I was certainly on many a train pulled by number 90, numbers 89 and 90 in Strasbourg. But... I never blew the whistle. Super jealous. I was very much a fan of Strasbourg. My my parents and I would go there pretty much every summer for quite a few years until about, I think 1999 was the last year that we went there for summer vacation. About four years ago, in fact, exactly four years ago, I went back for a revisit with someone. It was very fun. Very fun indeed. An American route. Yes, I'm down for an American route. We'll just have to decide what we want that to be. Also, I think ooh, almost spilled my beverage there. That wouldn't go well. Also, the type of beverage that I am drinking would not be the correct type of beverage for a train driver to be drinking. Screenshot taken. Screenshots for days. Yeah, so American route for sure. We'll just have to figure out which one. So I think that they are randomly distributed. Um, just diving into a bit of nerdy, nerdery on video game design. Uh, video games often have fixed what are called skyboxes, where it's basically just a picture copied you know, around the screen, like a 360 picture, like you might expect a 360 photograph to be, and it doesn't actually change at all. Um, you can tell that that's not quite the case with Train Simulator, because, for example, the time of day changes, um, clouds come into the sky, overcastness, sunsets, and all that. So they definitely have dynamic skies, but... I suspect either the stars are static or they just randomly distribute them throughout the sky. If I zoom in, do they get bigger? Oh, they do. Well, that's interesting. They do indeed. They even look a little bit like stars. Alcohols. I would never drink alcohols while driving a train. Okay, the service is now terminating until the morning. We would like you to park and secure the unit at EMU siding 6 before finishing your shift this evening. Well, that's a surprise. I thought we were done with this service. This is an extra bit of excitement. Let's do it. Off we go. We're going to be feathering off to the left, as you can see from our signal. That's what that little, those four, four or five white lights there with the yellow, the amber underneath. That means we are going to just go off to the side. If you must know, it is a delicious whiskey from Geek Boy 1011 of Chemitech fame. It was a groomsman present for being one of his groomsmen at his wedding a month or two ago two months ago. I sip slowly though, so it is not impairing my train driving, I, I promise you. Those of you who are programmers and also XKCD readers might be familiar with the concept of the Balmer Peak. One might think that there would be an equivalent for train driving, although that sounds like a bad idea. You have! I'm very jealous of that as well, Kai Tucker. 
I hope in the future, if you get to again, if you haven't already, that you take some videos and post them up on YouTube because that is definitely something I would enjoy watching. That was very much something I would enjoy watching. We're just going to ease onto the siding here. Well, in EMU siding six. And I don't see any particular place that we're supposed to stop, so let's just carry on straight. See what happens. We're staying right at this 15 mile an hour zone. Cruising along. I can see the tracks better when I poke my head out. Excellent. Excellent, you should. Very good. We have those reds at the buffers at the end of the platform. So today I was watching something where the... I forget what the place was. But there was a, a name of something that I did not recognize. Let's see if I... Wandsworth Nick. And... I thought to myself, what even does that mean? Now I know that Nick is slang for jail. This is news to me. Sorry, that was apropos. Nothing in particular. Um, okay, here we are now. Is this where we're supposed to be? What are we What are we doing here? I feel like I'm supposed to go somewhere else. Like back up or something. Hmm. Uh, Stop at well in EMU siding six. I think that's where I am. Um, this is siding five, I think. Or is that six? What does that say? Three. Six is over there. Oh. Um, okay. I guess we were supposed to switch the tracks. All right. Ha. <laughs> that's fun. Let's back up. So let me get my HUD up. We will put ourselves into the other cab. Oops, I clicked on the wrong thing. Apologies for that. I clicked on the wrong screen. That occasionally happens to me. I get so entranced in what I'm looking at on my streaming screen that I forget about which screen is which. We need to get those headlights on as well. Oh, I'm never going to find the headlights in this darkness. If only I knew what the key combination was for turning the cab light on. Because H and Shift H don't seem to be doing the trick for turning the headlights on. All right, we have to back up just a bit and switch the tracks ourselves. So here we go. Hello, HST. I'm glad you're over there and I'm over here. This is very dark. This is very dark without headlights indeed. I apologize for this. I'm, oh, I'm pressing H. I'm pressing H and, oh. Apparently you have to hit it 99 times before it actually does anything. Now we know. Now we know, ladies and gents, and we're about to speed. So I'm also going to pull up the map view here a second as we cruise along to see where I'm going to be able to switch to siding 6. So this is 6 here. So we're going to have to switch that over. And we're, oh, we can stop now. Hold on, let's, let's actually drive our train properly by, you know, Oh, we just got emergency We must have gone through a signal or missed an AWS. Um, in fact, I'm going to leave us in neutral. Switch back to the other end of the train. Press in forwards. Now, let's switch the tracks. Let's do this properly. Properly and professionally. So now we're set up for siding five. There we go, siding six. Beautiful. In train sim world, we're going to have to actually hop out of our train. To do things like that. See, I'm pressing H like a million times and nothing's happening. Very exciting. A little bit of bugs there. Maybe I have to wait till I'm going forward. Aha! Something went click. There we go. Okay, so apparently I have to actually be moving in order to press H. Oh, I'm throwing up my hands in frustration because train simulator is so weird. So in train sim world, we're going to have to actually get out of our train and switch the tracks by hand. That'll be fun. Very much looking forward to the Great Western train sim world version. All right, now we're heading on to siding six. We definitely are doing that. That's the thing that's happening right now. See, here we come. Here we are. What? What? Oh, come on. Siding three. I definitely switched that track. That is utter nonsense. That is completely bogus nonsense. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, you, since you are no longer on the train, you don't have to deal with me going on to the wrong track. And we are glad of that. We here at First Capital Connect aim to maintain an air of complete professionalism that this particular drive is not reflecting. Let's try that again, shall we? Forward, forward, 
Also, I should have put that other cab in neutral before I switched. Now I'll press H sometimes. There we go. Apparently, we have to not only be moving, but going five miles an hour. Oops. I lost it. There we go. I'm going to pause this a moment and double check that the tracks are still with us. No, I'm not, apparently. Um, I'm really confused because I'm pretty sure that's not how those tracks were set. Pretty sure, indeed. Trains are not cooperating, indeed. It's rather frustrating. And we just got set into emergency again. What even is happening right now? I mean, there's also the whole not running into that train issue, but... Alright. Look. Train. We want to go this way. See? This is track six. Siding six. Now we're going to switch cabs. We're going to leave this in neutral. We're going to switch cabs. You're still in forward. We're going to put you in forward. Alright, now we're going to look at the map again. And it switched back. <laughs> what is happening here? What is happening? All right, sighting six is the fourth from the end. This one, that one, and that one. Sighting six. Yes, good, excellent. Let's keep it that way. Off we go. There we go, now we see on the HUD, you can see well in EMU sighting six, all is as it should be. Now I'll try to get those headlights on once more. Once again, I'll fail. Once again, I'll succeed. And fail. And succeed. And we're speeding. Alrighty, so what American trains do we want to play? Switch it right before you go past, then it should work. Yeah, it seems like I had to... It was forgetting how the tracks were switched when I switched ends of my train. I, I don't know. I don't know. Train simulator is amusing. Train simulator keeps us amused, that's for sure. Imagine if in the real life, if you switch from one cab to the other in your train, all the tracks forgot how they were aligned. I didn't break the train. The train was breaking me. The train was just not cooperating for me. But the problem was, of course, train simulator. I just claim all, all and any responsibility. All right, let's get this stopped. And I'm also going to be kind and put this train into neutral before we set it to bed for the night. I am indeed. And are our headlights still on? Yes, they are. I should change that. I'll try anyway. Because I'm stopped, nothing happens anymore. Metro F40. I do not have the Metro, I'm afraid. Great work. You can now head home. See you tomorrow. So imagine me, you know, walking out of my train and heading to wherever I happen to live. Apparently, I live in Welland Garden City. Please give the author feedback. I will give that a thumbs up because that was fun. That was very fun. We stopped at one out of one destinations. Added or removes zero out of zero rail vehicles. Stopped at 10 out of 10 platforms. We did not pull a net worth. We spatted twice. Okay, that's that's actually nonsense. We did not spat. The train was just being mean to us. That was at the in the yard. I don't think I pulled past a red signal. I saw no red signals on my left. Penalty brakes were applied eight times. Um, so we had a little bit of speeding going on. A little bit. Improper horn use. I can live with that because, you know, we got to blow our horn at other trains that's just a fun thing to do and we were 52 minutes in the first capital connect so that's fun 